Hey ladies and gents, I am just coming to do a really quick update. I went to the doctor today. I had my SHG test. Let me probably back up because I haven't done an update um, in probably about a week. So let me get you up to date uh, with all of my appointments. It's just going to be better if I do them in sequence. I went to the doctor on September the 3rd and had my ultrasound. I did the ultrasound. Everything looked great. The only thing is she could not find my left ovary. Um, well, she saw it, but she said it was just so far down she couldn't get to it. And it may have been where I was in my cycle. I'm not really sure. Um, then I went back to the doctor on cycle day 8, which was on September the 8th which is Monday and I had my HSG test I'm sorry my eye just started to burn and I'm not sure why I had my HSG test that test wasn't so great the results were great but the filling wasn't great I found out on that date that I have a partial of my right tube and whereas the left side had very mild cramping my right side I don't even know if you want to call that a cramp I I screamed out because that was that pain was ridiculous and maybe I'm just not pain tolerant but that was ridiculous my sister said that as long as I didn't have tubes that it shouldn't be too bad so I was not nervous at all but yeah apparently I do have a portion of a tube and I today I went for my SHG test and today is September the 9th Wednesday which is my cycle day 10 I went in and had that test and everything was great. She said my uterine cavity looks gorgeous. So that's a great thing. She didn't see any problems. Everything looks perfect. Um, they, she did want to check on my ovary again, the one that wasn't, they couldn't get quite get the um, position of the way that they wanted to. When I was at my appointment on September 3rd, they was able to see that one a little better. And she said that, you know, it may have just been where I was in my cycle. They did find a small fibroid today. She said, you know, she's not going to mess with it. She's not going to bother it. She's going to leave it as is um, because it's not in my, um, it's nowhere near my uterine cavity. So she'll just leave it alone because it's not causing any issues and it won't be a conflict. So I have another appointment on September the 18th at 1 p.m. And when we when I go to that appointment, we'll discuss the treatment plan, what her suggestion is, um, and we'll go ahead and discuss the calendar as far as when we'll start everything with getting the eggs frozen. So that's pretty much it. I'm really, really, really excited. I seen Javon on Sunday, and when I seen him on Sunday, which was the 7th of September, we prayed together. He prayed over me. It was, I love when he does that. I'm such a sucker for it. <laughs> but um, we prayed together. He prayed over me, and I'm in really great spirits. He's in really great spirits, and we just can't wait till he comes home, and then we can make it all come alive. So. I'm not going to keep you guys too long. I guess I missed you some babbling, but I'm not going to keep you too long. 76, um, Mrs. Martin, I am so excited for you. When I watched your video, all I can do is just smile, smile, smile. Even through the video, I just, I don't know, I feel such positive energy um, with your embryo transfer and your two-week wait. I know that the results are going to be in your favor, so I'm going to keep praying for you. Um, and I know that, you know, it's going to be great. It's going to be successful. And for all those out there that are in their two-week rate as well, along with 76 Miss Martin, I am wishing you lots and lots and lots of sticky baby dust. I'm sending you lots of prayers. I do hope that this is successful for you. For those of you that have gotten your BFPs and uh, is on your way to delivery and carrying your baby, I am hoping for a very healthy baby, a very successful pregnancy, and just hang in there. Some days, it's, especially when you're pregnant, some days it just seems so unbearable, but I know you guys will do great. For those of you that um, is just starting your journey, just keep pushing at it. Don't 
you know, get discouraged. Don't get disappointed. Try to stay in positive energy. That's really, really important that you stay positive so that you don't stress yourself out while you're going through your process because that's no fun. And for those of you that, you know, have had a failed cycle or are still trying to conceive or anything of that nature, I do still also have you in my prayers. I know that someday you will bear a child. You will have a healthy baby. And it may not be now when you want it, but, you know, it's all up to him. And just continue your relationship, continue your faith. And it comes with patience. It comes with trust. Um, it comes with belief and it definitely comes with faith. So I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week and have a great weekend because I'm not sure if I will come back on YouTube before then. Probably not. You guys probably won't see me to the 18th unless I, I did do some recordings of my visit today. So I may load some of those just, just because, um, but that'll be 